Hi, Dr. Marcia Tuft here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This is a sneak peek at next week's experiment, which is build a cardboard catapult and maybe make a game out of it. So, what do you need? You need cardboard. This first catapult design of mine used an Amazon A1 box. The making instructions might have been a little bit more complicated than needed. So, I came up with version 2, which just used straight pieces of cardboard taped together. A little bit simpler. And it all started because we had this cool um, wood catapult kit that we used for Girl Scouts, but then we couldn't get the kits anymore. So I wanted to come up with a design that anybody could make at home. And I even made some design improvements because this cup would get ripped off and you didn't have a good finger hold for this. So to make any of my catapult designs, you basically need a rubber band, a pencil, a wood stir stick, like you can get at any paint store for stirring paints. My favorite thing are these little 3M plastic clips, the 3M command clips, um, because it makes it really easy to hook, to attach, hook your rubber band and unhook it. Okay, but if you don't have that, you can always use a piece of, of twist tie and tape it on and tape it so that you can attach your rubber band to it. You're going to need to be able to reattach and detach your rubber band. Now, this design gives you five different lever arm angles. And if you watch the experiment, you'll find out why that gives you more tuning capability. If you want to make it a little bit more decorative, you can design pretty patterns on the side or put some decorative paper over it. Uh, let's see, the other things you're going to need a condiment cup, such as you get for pizza toppings like red pepper or Parmesan cheese. Um, just a little plastic cup that's going to carry your projectile. Or if you've got connects or Tinker Toys, you can make a frame from that. So the basic thing you need in your catapult is a lever arm, an attachment system, so a frame that you can attach the pivot of your lever arm to, and your rubber band to, an attachment point in your lever arm, a condiment cup, and hopefully a little finger grip to make it easier to pull your catapult and load it. If you've got like a magazine holder like this, you can punch a couple holes in the side and use that. I've even used a FedEx box. So recycle some of the packaging material and I didn't even have to recut my sides. The only thing on the box design, the box width needs to be wider than your condiment cup. And for those that are challenged with cutting, I even made one out of an egg curtain. Uh, not an egg curtain, out of a milk curtain. This was from almond milk. And I still get two lever arm angles out of that. It's not my favorite design, but it still works. So absolutely no excuses. You can make a cardboard catapult out of materials that you have at home. You will need a paint stir stick. But now, let's see if we can make a fun game out of it, okay? I am going to use this one, and I'm trying to keep a shorter range. So I'm using a less efficient lever arm angle. Please know, you are going to need a range of projectiles. Ping pong balls, wiffle balls, golf balls work. Silly putty is great because you can change the mass of your object or combine two together. Ditto for Play-Doh. You can make your own or buy some for like 50 cents at Walmart. You may want a digital scale so you can get the record the weights of your projectiles. That'll help you tune your range. Okay. Let's see if I can make a game out of this. What do you think, Jack? Can you get it in? Ready, steady, go! Woohoo! Okay, rebound. You're going to have to set rules for your game. 
and my, uh, I have to do a little testing first to get the belt in the right ring. Whoa, just missed there. Ready, stay go. Oh, so close. Anyhow, lots of opportunities to make a fun game. If you have a cat or a dog, they might really enjoy chasing your projectiles. You can try using a dog toy or cat toy. Might make a great projectile. Please don't aim at another person or animal. Aim away. You're not going to have a lot of energy in these rubber band systems, but just be kind. And join me next week for Build and Make a Game with the Cardboard Catapult. And keep coming back each week for a new experiment or design.